Now, your forecast from Fox 56 News, the weather authority. All right, let me start the radar first on a wide view, showing you that's not anything happening in Kentucky. Uh, there have been a couple of isolated showers, though, in Indiana. Still not seeing it here at the moment, but if I kind of go back into the, the local radar out of Louisville, uh, you'll actually see those isolated showers that have been kind of popping up and then fading away into southern Indiana. They're going over toward Bedford, and that's going to eventually work its way up toward Bloomington, but it's not moving here. But the reason I'm tracking this is because it shows Shows that our atmosphere somewhat primed to maybe see some spotty showers a little bit later on in the day. Here's our view across Kentucky, central, southern, eastern Kentucky. Zippo, no rain out there right now. There is a piece of energy in the jet stream that's back over Indiana at the moment that moves east today, and that's why we stand a shot for a spotty shower. That's what it's doing right now, producing a couple of those in Indiana. Temperatures are mild this morning in the low and mid 60s. A few 50s left out there, but it is mainly in the 60s this morning. Let's go hour by hour right through your Tuesday afternoon. You'll see the model here, I think, is painting way too many uh, isolated showers later today. They'll be spotty. A few are out there. Most of you won't see any rain, uh, and then they will go quickly by the wayside once the sun sets. By tomorrow morning, though, some fading showers, though, likely from some bigger storms that are well to the west of us today, but as we go overnight, they weaken and could bring us a few showers towards sunrise. Then tomorrow afternoon, there is a better chance for some scattered storms. Some of those strong and an even a better chance as we head into tomorrow night and into Thursday morning. So the next big thing, that's what we're talking about here. Front approaches. This is our day Wednesday. Showers and storms coming in. Better chance as the front itself works into the state. When does that happen? Thursday. And guess what? Doesn't go anywhere really. As we go into Friday, the front goes back north as a warm front. And it means another chance for some showers and storms. Some of those could be strong or severe tomorrow. Uh, by Thursday, I can't rule out a strong storm there, but really uh, kind of the dynamic should be a little bit lower as we go into Thursday. It should be a little bit further south of the front. Today, though, partly cloudy and hot, spotty shower or storm. Middle 80s for most of our suburbs here in the city, about 87 again. 68 tonight. Yep, it's staying on the warmer side. Temperatures outside of the city, low and mid 60s. Seven day forecast, strong storm chance there tomorrow. It'll be a scattered storm event into Thursday. More numerous showers and storms around. Same story Friday. Saturday, it looks like we push that front a little further south. Then it starts coming back north again. Sunday and again on Monday and we will fine tune these rain chances as we get closer. Just know there is a chance right now. There will be a boundary that's in the state providing a focal point for increased rain chances. Wouldn't you know it, Krista, in time for a holiday weekend if there is a storm change.